mother's years of pain turned into something positive. Well, her two sons beating the odds after years of addiction and homelessness. And tonight, anchor Jackie Kosick shows you how the family is using their strength to help others. For more than a decade, Rhonda Fairchild watched both of her sons struggle with addiction to opioids. School, friends, pills. What started as an addiction to prescription pills led to cheaper, easier to access illicit drugs. Once you switch to the heroin, you, you're gone. There's no coming back. Still, Fairchild tried to get her sons the help they needed, including medically assisted treatment. Anything, just get them off the streets, get them stop using illicit drugs, get them because they were homeless. You know, they were they were living behind Toys R Us, you know, um, and, and, and committing crimes. Both Fairchild's children, who are now 34 and 36, spent time in jail that time serving as an opportunity. My oldest got out of jail first and he called me upon release from jail and said, I want help. She brought him to the Las Vegas rescue mission where he spent four months in a substance abuse program. When her younger son got out of jail, he joined his brother for a short time. My oldest one left and didn't think that it was gonna work for him and ended up back on the streets for I think four more months. And then he came to my door one morning early, like five o'clock in the morning and said, I, I need help. I want to go back into treatment. He went from West Care to Freedom House, where he spent four months. And today he lives in a in a sober living home. Um, he's saving to get his own apartment, but he's not in a rush. He's like, I'm just going to take it day by day. You know, because he doesn't want all the pressures of trying to fix everything at once like we think we have to. And um, they're just doing really great. Today, Fairchild's sons have both been in active recovery for more than a year. On Monday, they'll participate in the 7th annual Black Monday event, a public education forum put on by the foundation There Is No Hero in Heroin. Three years ago, Fairchild found herself sitting in the back of the room full of families like hers crying. Now she sits on the board for the foundation and she says this year with her sons in recovery will feel different. This year they're they're volunteering and they're you know they're going to be helping set everything up and um, and I want to be that mom in the audience that is you know celebrating our family in recovery and, and supporting the mom who's sitting in the back of the room crying. And that was Jackie Costick reporting. And Black Monday 2020 is taking place February 10th at the Central Church in Henderson from 6 to 9 p.m.